Good morning and a warm welcome to Spotlight on Six Plus Careers. Please introduce yourself. My name is Chris Anderson um, and I'm an IT business analyst. What does your job involve? So my job involves a whole variety of things. Ultimately, it's bridging the gap between um, technology teams within IT and also the business. So it's being that middleman whereby I can have discussions with um, technology people, i.e. software developers, but also the business people. So take um, find out what, what problem they're trying to solve and come up with an IT solution for that. So what was your career journey to get to this point? So I started off um, obviously doing GCSEs and then from that I went and did a BTEC in IT and business um, at East Norfolk in Galston and then following that I then went and studied at the Montfort University in Leicester um, and received a first class honours degree in computing for business uh, and then once I once I uh, graduated there, I then went on to a graduate scheme in London. Um, so that was again following the same path, the same route, doing sort of IT um, business type thing. Ultimately, initially looking at sort of project management type things, um, but then moving more into a, into a technology role um, and and getting a job at one of the tier one investment banks in London. And from that, moved over to Zurich with them um, and worked on the um, foreign exchange trading floor over there. Um, and then came back to Norwich, came back this way, um, and that was when I then moved into a business analyst role, whereby I have sort of more more input with the business and that type of thing, um, and, and working down in London now. Um, so I, I guess I've had a very varied place of where I've worked, uh, but I think moving um, moving back down to the city in the next couple of weeks. So yeah. So your job um, has enabled you to travel, um, and can you also do your job from home? Yeah, so pretty much uh, anything within IT um, is is able to do remotely, um, and I think there's that expectation now whereby uh, if you can't do the job remotely, then then the, the the shift needs to be put onto the employer and able to do so. So yeah, I've had that element of travel with my with my job, but there also is the the opportunity to work from home, um, which I think is is expected now as well. So if you were to employ an apprentice, what skills and qualities would you be looking for? I think the number one, well, the number one skill which I'll be looking for is work ethic. Uh, in that, if okay, you might not have all the skills that you need to in order to to successfully do a job, but as long as you're prepared to to put the hard yards in and to put the work in in order to to skill yourself up to be able to do that job, that's probably the number one. But then there's also sort of the, your basic soft skills such as communication, that type of thing, and that you can get on with people within a team. Uh, particularly in the job that I do, um, it is heavily team based, whereby you you do have to be able to, to speak with other people and work collaboratively together in order to come up with the best solution. Um, so I think it's a mixture of teamwork, communication, but it also is that element of, of of work ethic on yourself in order to to achieve what you need to. So, what do you enjoy most about your job? I think it's the variety of things which I which I have within. On, on my day-to-day -day role so for example I, I could go in one day and I'm speaking with the business and try to find out what the problem is so what we're trying to achieve um, and then the next day I could potentially be going in and prototyping a whole new system so that's coming up with wireframes and also how a system how an IT system is going to work so that's the whole design thing and then passing it off to say UX the user interface people and that's sort of, so there is an element of okay there is a I, I think there's a an aspect of people when you say turn around to them and say you work within IT, it's always a case of oh they must do code or something like that. But it's not like that at all. There is a um, a whole range of things that you could potentially do. Anything from writing out and mapping out how processes work within a system or within an IT application. So what role each particular stakeholder has. Anything through to designing or prototyping, and then there is some of the stuff whereby you're writing out some of the requirements that the business want and converting that into almost sort of a technical type type language for the developers. Um, so, who would you say is your role model? Uh, I think an obvious one within the IT uh, industry would be Bill Gates. Having seen what he's achieved over uh, and develop what he's what he's done um, in order to get to that level whereby you're you're pretty much at the top um, ultimately that would be that would be the dream um, so that's pretty much where I'd be 
Absolutely. Um, and just finally, what advice would you give to your 15 year old self? I'd say go and do the same thing over again. If you get the chance to go and go and travel with your job, absolutely go and do it. It, it, it progresses you on your career massively. Um, so any chance you get to move with your job or anything like that, find a job which you want to do. Stick, don't feel like you have to stick with it, but if you do do stick with it, make sure that it's a job which you can pro progress in. Um, so move up the chain, and then any any chance of travel, take it.